hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Izzy williams how you're doing so it's another b brother niger reunion show special so today was all about nominations and evictions so guys if you're new to my channel kindly click on the subscription button and click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new videos so today started by them talking about the fake eviction if you remember in the house the first i think the first week they were there five of them were fake evicted which includes toby alex d1 um i think Krebule and and one other one other person they were evicted from the house but it was a fake eviction so aneka and aneka yes aneka aneka talked about aneka she talked about um how it felt she said it was a roller coaster of emotions for her because i mean she just came in and now they are taking her out and um toby said at that point he was like he was he, he wasn't like really having it was like okay oh well it's a game like maybe his village people has won that he could imagine the faces of his bosses because nobody actually believed that he would go he would like be in the big brother house so um d1 talked about when he later when they were late when they found out that it was a um, fake eviction and came into the house when he saw miracles faith you know he understood that miracle was not happy that he's back in the house and when he saw angels face too he was not like no these guys are not for him crebule talked about like in his old 20 something years of existence he has never read his bible but because they were like in that confined space he had to read his whole bible in a day that even though food was served to them he was not really hungry so um they went on aneka talked about when d1 rejected him remember that uh, rejected her remember that time they were to pick someone and she took a flower on valentine's they knelt down and v d1 like he rejected her and really that affected her game like coming from being fake evicted and um coming and be rejected just in the space of three days that really affected her game like it affected herself you know self-esteem and her confidence even in the game and what really pained her had it been that d1 actually after rejecting her he also re rejected vandora she would have okay felt cool with it but he rejected her and accepted vandora leaving her to pick just rico rico also was you know rejected too and that really affected his game too according to what he said and d1 was like you know what I didn't mean it that way. It was just my way of making people laugh and catching fun. So Anika was like, she's not buying that. And D1 actually went to apologize to Anika. And he knelt down for Anika on national TV, guys. He knelt down for Anika. And Anika was like, he should go apologize to uh, Rico too. Because Rico felt the brunt of everything that he did. And he also went to apologize to Rico. And that was that. So again... They talked about the disqualifications when Krebule and Chloe, they asked if, you know, they thought that Krebule deserved the disqualifications and Krebule, lots of them, Angel said um, he didn't, like they shouldn't be evicted somebody for something he was about to do, not some, and he should have been evicted for something he did. He was about to, you know, he wanted to engage in a fight with D1, but he didn't do that. And D1 was like, um, he interfered in um, Krebule's fight with Chloe because he had what Krebule said to Chloe and it wasn't something that somebody should say to another human being and Krebule went on it was at that point it was very emotional because he went on to explain what happened how Chloe you know um, provoked him you know and before that they talked about his jump you know he talked about how Chloe um kept poking and poking and he had to react and he went on to tell us the backstory what he was going through at that moment his mom had cancer and um that made him because of that it affected him financially he had to drop out of school so like at that moment he were, it was very very hard for him and having chloe insult his mother like nobody would take that from anybody so um it was a very emotional time like even for us the viewers that was working watching and at that point like everybody had to stand up to clap for um Kribley, Kribley because it's it's it takes a man to admit his wrong so um they went on talking about um anto also talked about um they talked about anto anto held her views you know coming out of the house and going back in she thought that it was just part of a script big brother told her like don't tell anybody what you saw on the outside and she thought that that was some serious bs you know she said and 
you know after bringing her in they now brought, um, evicted her and not just evicted her they took her out with lulu and she thinks that's some serious bs that big brother was like it was as if um big brother was playing a script and from the results this you all remember sometimes the results the percentage never really tallied sometimes it was 109 percent sometimes it was 98 percent and he she thinks that's some serious bs and of course bam bam you know you remember that time bam bam was evicted they talked about that eviction it was like one of the saddest evictions for me and the fact that she saw you know teddy a cry when she came out and she was like wow at that moment when she saw him cry her heart that was like he got her heart and they asked teddy and teddy well, it was like well she, he's an alpha male maybe being an alpha male doesn't mean that you don't show emotions guys and the beautiful thing the way they were both staring at each other like i was lost because looking at those two they were staring at each other so lovingly and it was so beautiful so they went on beto said um it looks like this whole big brother thing you know was um scripted you know sometimes the voting was inconsistent and they book had to straighten everybody up and he was like you know what big brother is not in um a nigerian or an african franchise it's it's bigger than that it's bigger than you know trying to evict anybody or trying to put anybody up just to look good that they are bigger than that that these housemates are like too small for them to like start using them to you know gain anything and he also talked about people you know that didn't make it to the house that think that um you have to know somebody to be in the house you know there was there's nothing there's always this conspiracy theory that you'd have to know somebody to be in the house and he had to address that so guys that was the show for today i'm looking forward to tomorrow's show because hmm, it's the four finalists it was supposed to be the five finalists but miracle isn't there obviously so we have me nina um toby cc and alex and from what i saw guys hmm, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun it looks like these guys are going at each other's throat i can't wait to give you all the gist so guys that's the show for today if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for kindly click on that subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video thank you